hey everyone welcome back on the channel again welcome back to another xss frame generation video with dlss frame generation included now the dlss will be only for the rtx gpu and the xss frame generation will be for all the gpus the game right now you are seeing on your screen is called lost soul aside uh, which is uh, similar to uh, devil may cry type of genre like uh, third person slashing action type of game uh, game is built on Unreal Engine 5 uh, optimization is pretty okay but uh, the game stutters little bit sometimes make sure you use uh, shadows on medium or low uh, depending on your PC right now the settings I'm using is uh, wait let me go to the video setting there you go I'm on 1080p high quality with ray tracings are right now off and uh, as you can see the FPS is uh, hovering around 70 only so yeah, let's uh, start this video without any delay now. Alright, uh, we got two zips here. One is DLSS FG, one is XSS FG. DLSS FG is nothing special but uh, the files from the new chem fg 0.1.30 uh, i think uh, so all you need to do is copy the files and paste it to the correct location i will show the correct location when i'm installing this one and yeah, after that just go into the setting and use the in-game dlss fg that will be for the rtx gpu so i'm gonna delete it here and i'm gonna extract the xss fg on the desktop uh, so we're gonna copy everything from the xss fg then gonna go to the games installation directory which is uh, here lost solar side after that we're gonna go inside project lsa then binaries then win64 and where the win64 shipping.exe is located i'm gonna paste the mod here uh, you also need to paste the dlss fg here if you are on rtx gpu and you don't want to use this uh, xcfg so yeah you need to paste uh, this dlss fg in the same folder uh, after that uh, we're gonna set up the optic scaler classic process dxgi 1 nvidia gpu 2 and md intel 1 so pressing enter press continue then again open the optiscalar.ini now in here uh, we will scroll down to the frame gen section of the text file and in this ng input type we will type dlssg because we are going to hook with the dlss in game and we are going to use the fg output as xcfg because we are going to use the xss frame generation now the upscaler to xcfg might be compatible i have not tried it because i don't have uh, much time these days i am busy on something else uh, so yeah anyway i have tried this one this is working totally fine so i did not bother uh, testing anything else so yeah input dlssg output xcfg click on file click on save close the file now jump back in the game and i'll show you how much fps we are getting with the mod and how we can uh, change upscaler and everything get mega games bundle with games like wukong gta 5 witcher 3 god of war and many many more at just 399 rupees all right uh, back in game we need to use the dlss in order to use the dlss fg so yeah if you have done everything correctly you should be able to use the in-game dlss on gtx and amd gpus so yeah come to the graphics section then from here select the link select the super resolution as dlss uh, you can use any preset from here quality balance and you need to also activate the frame generation from here but even after activating the frame generation you will see fps is uh, not yet boosted let me get back to the game real quick all right you can still see the game is uh, fps is only around uh, 70 to 80 uh, sometimes reaching a uh, 90 uh, let me bring up the optical a little bit bigger because yeah you guys cannot see i guess there we go all right now from the optiscalar panel which you can access by pressing ins slash insert on your keyboard you need to come down here and click on this active button and after that you will see frame rate will uh, boost from 80 and 90 to 130 and in this is xss frame generation so there is no need of uh, hood fix at present but i will show you the debug view of uh, this xss frame generation like if you activate the debug view uh, your game should look like this one like this two pink horizontal line on the sides of your screen this is the debug view like 
if your mod is working correctly your debug view should look like uh, this so yeah from now on xss fg debug view will look just like uh, this one all right uh, yeah as you guys can see the game is still stuttering a little bit that unreal engines feature uh, i hope developers will patch the game deal soon uh, so yeah i guess this will be it for this video now if this helps you consider subscribing to the channel if you need cheap games netflix subscription and everything uh, don't forget to join my discord and i'll see you guys in the next one so cheers now